Hi, I'm Doug Farrell, Principal Engineer with Petrell Engineering Group. We do projects all over the world, but along with those projects, we have the distinct pleasure to be the structural engineers for California Pools. Our group has been associated with California Pools for more than 45 years. I look at pools today that my father designed back in the 1950s. So over that period of time, we've learned what's important. Those items that will make your pool something that will be special and exciting, but also long-lasting and durable. So today, we're gonna take a look at some of those pools and some of that engineering that you don't see while you swim in that pool every day. Now, every swimming pool has structural steel in it. However, at California pools, there are subtle differences in the steel, which may not look like much to the common observer, but to myself as a structural engineer are extremely important. Let me show you one. Down here on the spa floor, we have two layers of steel going up into the spa dam wall, which is basically the dam wall that differentiates between the spa and the pool. But not only do we have the two levels of steel coming up in the dam wall, we have another bar that goes and ties into the floor. This creates an overall cinch that holds that wall tightly together during the placement of the concrete. A subtle difference, but extremely important in the overall longevity of this important wall. Okay, we're actually here on a job site right now. I've been asked by the superintendent to come and look at this job, which is in the process of receiving the reinforcing steel uh, as we speak, as you can see. Uh, this is a special tiered dam wall, which uh, is, a, is a nice element to place in a pool, but requires some special engineering, which has been completed by my office. Um, as you can see, they're tying the steel uh, behind me here, and, and I'm here to check it out and make sure it's in good condition and, and according to plan. Bueno, hay preguntas o problemas aquí? No, todo está bien. Ok, ya ha puesto el dam wall allí y sí, está ya. poniendo... Voy a, ver, no, a ponerle otra barra aquí. Por aquí. Okay. The spa dam wall on this swimming pool calls for a structural design of number threes at six inches on center. As you can see, he's placing those bars as we speak. The majority of them are in place. This steel combined with the other bars that bend up from the floor create a rigid frame that will not only be strong during the placement of the gunite, but give structural integrity for the life of the pool. Okay, now we just came from a swimming pool where the reinforcing steel was being placed into the excavation of the swimming pool. We're now here at a completed pool, so now we have a chance to really take a few minutes and look at the steel as it's placed in the pool. The structure of your pool is made of what's called reinforced concrete. Now that's a big term, but what that truly means is a marriage of reinforcing steel and structural concrete. Now you can see the steel that's been placed in this California pool. There's many aspects of this steel that are extremely important, especially to myself as the engineer of record. If you look at this steel, it's lapped in various areas. Lap allows you to create a uniform structural integrity bond of all your bars in your steel. Let's look down here at the floor. There's blocks that are placed. These are called dobies. They hold the steel a specified distance off the soil so that when you place the concrete, it is, gives you that marriage with the proper distance below and above the steel. The steel is placed in the pool per a structural plan. This design for your specific soil type in your specific backyard. And each one of those structures is made to guarantee the overall integrity of your structure for many years to come. This is a structural pool wall of this customer's swimming pool. As you can tell, I'm in the deep end of the pool at this time. When California Pools designs a swimming pool, it is designed for the worst case scenario. In other words, no water in the pool, the soil pushing against the pool wall. When we get to the deeper sections, we add what's called alternate bars. These alternate bars fit into the pattern. Now, what's significant about the alternate bars you can see in this pool? The alternate bars continue down into the floor. It's very important that they go past the radius point of the pool and well into the floor so that the stresses are distributed through the wall into the floor, which is the foundation of your pool. Now what we're looking at here is a swimming pool skimmer. This is a very important part of the recirculation of your water. In fact, this is the trap that catches the leaves off the top of your pool. Now what's significant about this? 
The skimmer is a point where there might be a discontinuity in the structural shell of the steel. What we do at that point is box this skimmer out with laps into the walls. But there's another more, even more important item to boxing the skimmer. The skimmer then structurally becomes part of the swimming pool, integral with the rest of your pool shell, allowing it to stay tight with the pool even if there's some minor fluctuations in the pool or some minor fluctuations in the deck. Later on, we will isolate this skimmer from the decking so that you're absolutely certain that your pool stays watertight for many years to come. As a structural engineer, I love looking at swimming pools with the reinforcing steel. This is my element, but I'm absolutely certain that the customer of this pool can't wait for the gunite to be placed and pretty soon thereafter, the water. Just like the California Pools customer with the reinforcing steel whose job we just visited, my California Pool was built exactly the same way. And you know what? I had to wait a little while too. But man, is it worth the wait. In fact, I can't wait any longer.